So what's up guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in uh, Juru Growth Point. Uh, Juru Growth Point is also known as Kwabora. And I actually thought Kwabora is the proper name of this area. It's not Juru, it's not Kwabora, it's Juru Growth Point. And yeah, I'll be filming around. Uh, I was last year in 2018 and um, yeah, a lot has changed in, in four years. Eh? 2018 around this time as well, a lot has changed. A lot more houses have come up here. Little real estate is coming up. Unfortunately, I don't have the prices. No one seems to know. I've been asking around. But as usual, I'm with Mr. Roscoe. Roscoe! There he is. Yeah, I'm with Mr. Roscoe, guys. He uh, keeps me company. And uh, he's drawing a lot of attention. Uh, people are not used to fairy dogs here, to fluffy little things here. So yeah, I like that. And he's going to be coming with us in uh, making this video. This place is around 45 kilometers from Arare. It's not far from Arare. And uh, there's a very popular school here known as St. John's Chikwaka. It's not too far from here. I'd say about four or five kilometers away. Very popular boarding school, mission school. But yeah, if you have any history about this area, if you know anything, if you've lived here before, if you're from here, do let us know in the comment section. Drop a comment. Guys, I want you to enjoy the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Cheers, guys. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in uh, Goromonzi, Goromonzi uh, in an area known as uh, Juru Growth Point and uh, it's more popularly known as uh, Kwabora. Uh, it's situated about 45 to 50, between 45 and 50 kilometers from uh, the city center of Harare and it's very close to Harare such that people actually live here and work in Harare, uh, commuting to Harare on a daily. Uh, normal fare between this place and Harare is about two dollars So yeah, it's a very manageable distance. Uh, the place has grown over the years It has really really grown over the years and uh, especially when I drove to the neighborhood uh, The neighborhood uh, continues to expand. Uh, it's because the land here is much cheaper than land in Harare um, and so yeah, it's quite attractive uh, for the less affluent to want to buy land in this area but I'll take you to the neighborhood so that you do get a feel of it to see what people are doing. You can see the architecture. I think the neighborhood just needs uh, proper roads. Otherwise, it does look like it's uh, well planned and uh, the cell composition there is quite good. Uh, the interesting thing about um, this growth point is that uh, it's mainly on, on one street. It's mostly on one street and the street size, I mean, the street is just really, really wide. Uh, one can imagine what will happen or how it will look when they begin to put hard roads here. Um, I did hear, I did see a billboard about upgrading uh, the bus terminus and uh, the whole township uh, to put paved roads and street lights and so on and so forth. So it will be interesting to note how that will look like when it's finished. But guys, I want you to enjoy the video and if you are from Kwabora or Kwajuru or Kwajikwaka, uh, please do share in the comment section. Uh, please do tell us interesting facts about uh, this uh, area. Uh, but uh, what I can say is that 10 years from now, it will be um, almost like a satellite town of, of Harare with the way it's growing and with the way the city of Harare is growing as well as with the way it's developing. But guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe.
Solid ground. 